welcome to the Unc Rye Show from beautiful Southside, Muncie, Indiana. As you can see, I'm actually cruising through the Southside on a rainy Sunday evening. And uh, since it's wet and rainy, um, I like this weather, I always say, but since it's a wet, rainy day, I thought what would go better with a wet, rainy day than a big, bold chili? And so a lot of people say to me, uh, Unc Rye, how come your chili is so awesome? And, uh, you know, there's a few secrets for sure. Uh, one thing is that uh, always be sure to add the cumin to it because if you don't put that in there, it just doesn't quite taste right. So you always want to have that in there for sure. Um, the rest of the ingredients, uh, some nice tomato paste, some diced up tomatoes, um, jalapenos, we're going to put a lot of those in there, some onion, our chili beans, sprinkle some cheese on top when we're done, a lot of chili powder, all kinds of stuff it makes it really wonderful. So, going to get, head to the store right now and get all those ingredients because, as you probably already guessed, I don't have any of that stuff uh, at my house. Um, but, that's okay, I do live close to the store and it gives me a minute to drive down the road and record this nice video and it looks like I'm going to have an extra minute or two because I am being stopped by one of the infamous trains in Muncie, Indiana. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let you have a look. Ah yeah, there we go. A train stopping traffic on the south side of Muncie. Imagine that. Anybody that lives in Muncie pretty much deals with this every single day. Uh, we have a lot of patience around here and that's good because we can always count on spending a lot of time sitting and waiting on trains. So once this gets by, I will run in the store, get my ingredients, and get this chili going. Alright, we are back moving again. We are free of the train for now, although we'll probably get stopped by another one on the way back, the way things go here in Muncie. But, nonetheless, we are at Payless and getting ready to pull in. And you may wonder, does Unc Rai go to the store every single day? Yes, indeed, I do. However, I don't always go to this particular store. But I certainly go to a store to get food pretty much every day. I guess I like to have my food nice and fresh, and I decide that a daily trip to the store is the way to do that. So anyways, I'm going to run in here and get my ingredients to make some chili. Alright, I'm back in from the cold and ready to get down to business. It's going to be a wonderful day for chili. Nice, cool, rainy day. Perfect weather for chili. All right, so let's talk about the tools that we need. Um, some of these tools are similar to tools we've used in the past. Uh, we are going to use the tablespoon measure. We're going to use this to stir up the meat, the spatula, I guess you would call it. Uh, use that to ground up the meat and to stir the chili. Okay. Can opener, of course. We've got to use a can opener. And a knife. And a nice big frying pan. And right over here, this awesome thing, which is a pressure cooker, and it speeds up our chili cooking. Usually, if I didn't have this, it would take about three hours to six hours, depending upon um, what temperature you put it at on the crock pot. Um, however, with this thing, you can get it done in about 45 minutes, and it's just as awesome. So, this is the way to go. So, yeah, so we'll you learn how to use this today. And those are our tools. So let's talk about now our ingredients. Um, need an onion. And we need a couple of peppers. Those are jalapenos, by the way. We need to get um, two pounds of hamburger. So a lot of hamburger in this stuff. Going to get a can of tomato sauce. We're going to have two cans of diced tomatoes, one can of hot chili beans. You're going to use some chili powder. You're going to use some cumin. And we're going to use pepper. And you might already have guessed. 
We will also be using some salt and we will also be using some garlic, which sadly I did not get out to put on display, but I will show you in a moment when we start cooking. All right, I have all my stuff in place for the stove. I've got the meat right over here getting ready to cut that open and start cooking it. Got my jalapenos, got my onion, and I have my uh, garlic, which I cannot think of the name of, but nonetheless have it right here. Um, when it comes to making chili, there's not a whole lot of stuff to cut up. Um, there's just a whole bunch of stuff you dump in one big pot and cook it. So um, really just knowing what to dump in the pot is actually all you need to know. Um, but I will go ahead and show you the basic preparation over here and then I'll switch to the pressure cooker and show you everything else that you dump in to make it all work. All right, ready to get down to business making our chili. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut open that hamburger, toss it in my preheated skillet. And this time, I don't plan to drop any. We'll see. Okay, two pounds. Lots of hamburger in this chili. Okay, now that that's going, I'm going to smash it down a little bit like I did before. All right, looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat back just a hair. Set that right there. All right, we'll let that cook for a minute. I'm going to rinse my hands off real quick behind the scenes. Okay, now, I rinsed these off earlier, so we're good to go there. I'm going to go ahead and take my jalapeno, cut the ends of them off like that. Okay. And then I'm going to just cut them like that. A little different than what I did when we made our salsa. Same thing with that one. Cut it like that. Okay, so that is all ready to go. Now we're going to get our garlic press and take care of our garlic. All right, grabbed a bowl to throw our fresh ingredients into after they're cut up. So I'm going to set that right there for now. And I realized that earlier, not only did I leave out the garlic when I was talking about ingredients, when I was talking about tools, I left out the garlic press. So we're going to put the garlic in to smash it, put it in the chili. But unfortunately, I left this tool out too. So I'm having a rough day today, I guess. Anyways, I'm going to take these. Put them right in here. Okay, and I want to get all those seeds scooped up because that makes the chili extra hot. And I definitely want it to be extra hot. All right, that's most. Of it. Okay, for the garlic, we want two cloves of garlic today. So I'm gonna get those. Okay, there's one clove of garlic. There's two cloves of garlic. And I think I'll go ahead and put in a, just a little bit more, a small third piece of garlic. I like extra garlicky chili. Alright, there's our three cloves of garlic. We're going to take those and we're going to use the garlic press like we did when we made our salsa and we're going to smash that down like that. So that's all ready to go. That off of there. And we're going to take the next one, put that one in there, smash it. Okay, and then we're going to get our third piece, put that in there, smash it, there we go, and open that up, get all of the extra out of there, ok, 
Okay, now we are all set with our garlic. So I'm gonna set that aside. Rinse my hand off behind the scenes. And I'm gonna stir the meat up a little bit. And now I'm gonna cut up the onion. We wanna put most of this onion in there. We wanna put a lot of onion in that. I'm gonna cut the end off here. And the end off down here. And I'm gonna cut it like this to get the outside off of it. Okay, there we go. Scoot that stuff out of the way. And we'll cut up our onion. So I'm gonna cut it this way first. Now that's cut, I'm going to take, cut those in half, like that, and then cut them up like that. And then I'm going to grab all the pieces, cut it like that. And probably about a half an onion will be good for this chili, for the, since this was such a big onion. We probably don't need that whole onion, that might be a little too much onion. You know, we cook the hamburger, we want it to be kind of big hunks, like that. It kind of works out better in the chili that way. Okay, so once the hamburger gets about, about like that, all nice and brown, we'll go ahead and reach back here and turn that off. And we will head over to the pressure cooker and start putting our ingredients in it. Alright, so once we have all of our stuff, our fresh ingredients cut up right here, which are the jalapenos, the garlic, and the onions, we have all of our canned items right over here. We have our meat right back here. And on granite countertops, you can actually set a hot skillet right on the counter like that, which is pretty awesome. So all we do now is just start taking all of our stuff and just dumping it right in this thing right here. Okay? This is a pressure cooker. It's got a piece on the inside that I'm going to take out. We don't need that, so I'm going to take that out. Put it right there. And what that does is that leaves a big empty pot like this. We take all the stuff and just dump it in there. Fire it up, cook it for 45 minutes, it's all set. So I'm gonna put the camera over here where you can see all the ingredients getting dumped in. We'll cook it up and have our chili ready to go. Okay, we are ready to start dumping everything into the pressure cooker. So I'm gonna start out with my fresh ingredients right here. Dump those right in. There we go. Next up, I'm going to open my various canned items over here. They all go in, the whole can, so I'm gonna open up the first can of diced tomatoes. I'm going to dump that in. I'm going to open the second can of diced tomatoes. Dump that in. I'm going to open up a can of chili beans and dump that in. <clears throat> nice and easy. Can of tomato sauce. I'm going to dump that in. Okay, got that in there. Now, I'm going to put in the chili powder and the cumin. For the chili powder right here, we want at least two tablespoons. I like chili powder a lot. This is one tablespoon. Put that in there. I got a little extra like that. Dump it in there. A little extra like that again. Dump that in there. Okay, got that. Next up, we want the cumin. And I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of that right there, brown cumin. Okay, nice heaping tablespoon. Put that in there. Now for the pepper and the salt, we just want a little bit of each. So I'm going to see if I can 
pop the end open. This is the pepper. Put it in my hand like that. Whoa, that's way too much. So we'll put a little bit in there like that. That's plenty. I'm going to toss the rest off camera. Alrighty. And now the salt. And about the same, but this time I'm trying not to overdo it. So a little pinch of salt like that in there. And we have one last thing. We want to put the meat in there. Ugh. So got this whole thing of meat. When I use this to get it out, I can sort of drain it a little bit. So I'll do that. I'll dump that in there. With a lot of amber. And a little bit more. Down there. Okay, so that's good. This little piece that got stuck right here, I'm going to drop that on the floor and let my dog eat it. Okay, so now that we have all the ingredients all in here, that's all we need to make chili. What we need to do now, stir it all up without making too much of a mess. Like that. Okay, and you can see it already kind of looks like chili, but we don't want to eat it just yet. that. Now we're going to take our lid, put it on here, and it locks if you do it right. That is unlocked. That's locked, so you can pick the whole thing up like that. Okay, now that that's locked, what that does is it keeps all the pressure in so it makes it cook faster. And we want to have it set to sealed right there, and then we will Turn our dial for the appropriate amount of time and in 45 minutes the chili will be done and ready to eat. Okay, with our pressure cooker all set up, everything connected, plugged in, power light turned on, and the lid securely attached and the setting set to sealed, we're going to take our dial like this, turn it over to 45 minutes, and we wait. Alright, the dial has run out to zero, the chili is done. One thing you have to do before you open the lid on these things, I'm going to go ahead and set this over to the uh, off setting, and this will let all the steam out. So I'm going to click this thing, and all the steam will come shooting out. And that takes a few minutes, so we'll let that go, and then we'll be ready to open the lid up, get a big bowl of chili out. Okay, now that all the steam has been let out, I grabbed a few things to go with my chili, a little extra chili powder to put on top, some cheese to put on top. I think I am ready to go. So as long as the pressure has been let off, this will unlock and the lid will lift off like that. We have some nice, hot, delicious chili inside. So I've got my ladle right here. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. Mmm, mmm, very good. So I'm going to take this out. Scoop it right there in a bowl like that. A little bit extra right there. Put that down. Sprinkle on some extra chili powder right here. And sprinkle a little cheese on top. And there we go. Let that melt for just a minute and I'll have a big delicious bowl of chili. 